Danny Williams coming to the cage. Featherweight matchup. With a bit of a change around, but he's taking on Naheen Tenney, the Blackburn Predators. You know, after after the last fight we had, the three-second TKO, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping we get a little bit more action in our first fight of the night, Mr. Furness. Yeah, well, this is fighting and anything goes, anything can go. Williams fighting out of uh, MFA. I don't want to pronounce that. No, it, it looks Welsh to me. I'm not even going to give it. Hey, it's enough I come up to Preston. <laughs> you know, seeing as we've just kind of taken over the mic, I, I think it's. I, I, I want to talk about this venue for a second, Jay, because for a local, regional show, this is one of the most beautiful venues for MMA I've been to. Yeah. I mean, it's, it is literally almost perfect. You've got like the arena style seating coming up to the back, which spreads out perfectly. Tables at the bottom. I was at an event previously that held the show, and you know, it, it didn't hold the ca it didn't hold anything towards what the UK Fighting Championships are doing here. This is perfect. They packed it out. There's loads of fans here. The atmosphere is brilliant already, and we're not even halfway through the night. And you know, halfway through a long night, I think we've got 20 plus fights to call. But it, you know, it makes it all the all the easier when you've got you know great fans around, and it's you know you feel consumed by it when everybody's around you like this. It just definitely helps to lift the atmosphere. Danny Williams just gone through the last check and stepping into the cage. Tenny entering now from uh, Blackburn Predators. Obviously a big Blackburn Predators presence tonight on the card. Uh, and the great, you know, the, the, the Predators kind of franchise, as it were, seems to be going from strength to strength at the moment as well, especially with their amateur talent. They really have a lot of amateur talent coming up and through the system. Yeah, and like we've seen so far tonight, and, you know, Steve, we've seen across a lot of shows in the north of England, when you get the fighters that come out of Blackburn Predators, you, you always know they're going to be well versed in certain gyms that you see and when their fighters come out you know that they're going to have a, at least the relevant base level of skill in all areas. I don't want to cause any offence to our southern MMA colleagues and practitioners but uh, it does seem that kind of Birmingham and North is really the uh, hotbed in the North especially as soon as you sort of hit Manchester number of gyms just in Manchester alone that are producing some incredible athletes. No else to do but fight each other up here, Steve. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure you got some breweries that would interest me. <laughs> Williams hasn't stopped moving since he got into the cage. Constantly springing back and forth. He's he's ready to go. Yeah, it's always interesting when you get the you know the clash of demeanors. Tenny's much more laid back. Yeah. So uh, and then when they meet in the middle, then you find out what that really means. And again, you see it in the movement, much more jittery movement of Williams. Nice inside boxing there. Tenny trying to close the distance. He's in on the double. Williams almost gifted it there, he just dropped to his ass cheeks. Kneeling with the back to the cage though, surely that gives him a little bit of a little bit of leverage to defend the takedown. It does, yeah, but I mean, 
most people wouldn't want to have gifted Tenny that takedown from there so early. He put himself in a worse position. But he's going to get back to his feet. Again, Tenny going for the single. Can he finish it head inside? Williams thinks he's got a guillotine. But if Tenny can pass the legs, then it's going to make it real difficult. And there, he's out with a guillotine, freed himself. Fighting for a guillotine of his own, maybe. Certainly trying to stay very heavy and sticky, as staying close to him as well. Yeah, good work from Williams there to use the, uh, the K to his advantage, back up to his feet. Oh, nice knee to the body from Tenny. Williams also, you know, responds so with that nice inside uppercut, dirty boxing. Again, that single, and we've seen Williams on the cage again. That's It's like he's at sector the takedown, and things get a lot harder once you're on the ground and trying to fight back up, and you're taking the guy's pressure. You know, it gets a lot harder. You're better off fighting it stood up where you've both got a, an equal amount of leverage. And that's why he's found himself in a bad spot. His game, though, keeps working back up to his feet. And, I, you know, I've been on Tenny's side of this equation, as in trying to take a guy down, you keep tripping him on the cage, you keep standing back up, and it's tiring for both of you. You know, it's not just tiring for the guy defending and being taken down. It's a lot of hard work for the guy who's pressuring as well. As you, we, we talked about their demeanor at the beginning and how sort of relaxed Tenny was, and you can see that in his grappling, though. He's very, very calm and smooth. He's just not giving up. Yeah, it's... Neither of these guys are really rushing anything, but I am impressed with Tenny's composure. Williams has got back up to his feet, but every time he's just diligently worked again. That time he got a nice outside trip. You know, he, he's not trying to force anything there, and that's, that's a good composure for an amateur fighter to have. Would you like to see a little more urgency, or in the first round is, you know, this kind of dominance a, a good thing? Um, you know, it's one of those things that I don't know how many fights Tenny's had, but... You know, you, you walk Williams there with a nice little onslaught. It's the first time he's had top position, and he's certainly been aggressive then. You know, going back to what we were saying, Steve, when Tenny's been on top, he hasn't been that aggressive and he hasn't really forced it. He might look for a leg lock there, might have that straight foot lock. Ten seconds left, I don't think he's going to have the time, but yeah, when he's been on top, he's not really forced it, he's not really been that aggressive, he's done more controlling. Whereas when we saw William at the top there, Williams on the top, he really, he really went for it, you know. Yeah, he's looking to land ground and, and, and he's throwing. It seems like everything Williams is throwing, he's throwing with some bad intentions. He, well, even on the feet during the opening exchanges, he was throwing leather. Yeah, so while it might seem well and good to be the laid-back guy who's taking his time and controlling things, then, you know, two minutes of controlling versus, you know, one minute of a guy when he gets on top, he's throwing bombs. How, how do you leverage that on the scorecards? It's interesting. Yeah, yeah, you know, that, you know, three minute rounds, it doesn't give the judges a lot of time, you know, and so that top position is incredibly important. And I think he might have done enough. He, he, I think it wouldn't be surprising to see, to, you know, to see him get that round. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. Williams came on probably a little bit late, but if anything, that's going to give him. Uh, a little bit of enthusiasm coming into the second, uh, knowing that when he gets that space, you know, he can make the shots that land. And he, and he started, the, again, look at that, the intention is, I'm going to touch your glove and then I'm going to punch you really hard. I do wonder whether we'll see a little bit more intensity from uh, Tenny in this second round. Some good exchanges there, both guys landed on the inside. Seems that on the feet that... Uh, the Tenny's just that little bit more tentative compared to Warren Williams. is willing to throw a little bit more. Oh, well, Williams sticks everything into every shot. And that's the problem with it. You know, yeah. a little bit overcommitted, you get taken down a little bit more easily. But he landed the better shots in the stand-up there purely out of conviction. Yeah. And now we're, you know, trying to work with the butterfly in. Hi. What's he looking for here? The triangle, maybe? Yeah, triangle. But when the butterfly hooks in and Tenny had it covered, it, you're going to struggle to get that. And now... He's giving him the pass. That is the uh, obvious fault there when he haven't got that leg drag. This is a great position to ground and pound if Tenny can keep this. I often wonder with the amateur, we talk about it all the time, and it seems to me that if you got your opponent on the back, the most dominant position you can have is side control. He gave that up really, really easy, and uh, it just boggles my mind when amateurs look for the full mount, knowing that you know, it, it meant you can't throw the elbows, you can't throw the. So side control is a great position. Yeah, really, 
the best for uh, control in a cross side position you know it's you've got more control over the guy's body over his chest and being able to pin him to the mat the mount in terms of volume of punches you can throw is a good position look at this tennis trying to set up a triangle but yeah Williams has done really well there yeah, just uh, slipped, slipped his head under the leg and pulled out. Has he if you, got him mounted? No, half, half guard still. The one problem is when you project your uh, triangle too much, is it allows the guy to come out. But Tenny's got on top. Is he in a guillotine? He has to be careful there. That does look tight, but he's got an arm in. He's nice, sweep. nice sweep. Yeah, and beautiful this, work for Williams. Is, this is the difference for me in the first and the second. When Williams gets on top, He's looking to inflict, he's looking to send a message. If it's not finishing, it's letting the judges know I'm winning this fight. Yeah, and in the first, it, it seemed like it might have been a case of, oh, nice, oh, reversal again, back and forth. Then the first for Williams, it, it seemed like he might have been agitated, and when he got on top, it was like, yeah, I'm going to hit you really hard, but we're still early in this second round, and when Williams got on top there, he had the, the exact same intention of landing as many shots as he could. So then he could learn a little bit from that now he's got a great side control position really good hips nice and low how aggressive is he going to be from this position again looking to look and try mount you know yeah he tried to mount too early and he's been shaken off for all his composure he's just oh nice right hand got through there for yeah, him. Like everything danny throws he's throwing to finish the fight with 10 seconds left in the second. Yeah, a, a really competitive two rounds. And it, it's been an exciting two rounds as well, Steve. That's It's been mostly fought in the grappling range, but we've had that many back and forth exchanges. Both guys have had their share of top control. You know, and, and we've got to see aspects of working from the bottom and working from the top from both of them. What, what, what do, you know, you're in the corner now. What do you, what, what are you saying to, to, to Tenny in the, in, in the blue corner, right? In the red corner, sorry. Blue corner, I, just, I got it right. Yeah, he, you know, I think he's shown that he's got the ability, he's got the skills, but I think he needs more urgency now. Williams has had the urgency, you know. He, he's had the impetus on him. Every time he throws a shot, you know he wants to hurt him. Every time he gets on top, he wants to hurt him. Tenny, when he's been on top, he's been a little bit more laid back and... Now, this could very well be one apiece. Yeah, yeah that's it. Is that what you, in the corner, is that what you'd be telling me? I your, think so. You and and it's, you need to win this, you know. You can't sit back and expect to win the fight now. You've got to go out and win the round. And again, you see Williams, he looks pumped looks, out he, the he third. He's angry. <laughs> uh, his focus is unquestionable. Nice low kick and... Again, a similar exchange to what we had at the start of the fir this first and second. Looks like Williams has lost a little bit of pop off his strikes, though. Those, those, those punches seemed a little slow, a little heavy. Yeah, a little bit more pushy than we've seen in the first two. And that's one of the reasons where, you know, you give it everything you've got in terms of power in the first two. What have you got left in the energy reserves? You know, maybe not quite as much. And this might be where Tenny can start turning it back around and get the momentum in his favour. Nice, tried to yeah, use the butterflies to push off his opponent's hips, looking to try and stand again. Tenny has to stay heavy on the head and neck now, surely dragged all him back down. Yeah, and this is a very tiring position from the bottom, trying to work your way back up when your opponent's got his weight on top. You know, especially trying to hold onto a single leg, burning the arms out. And that's probably why he's giving it up there. And now Tenny, I'm sure he'll be more than happy to ride things out from here, a dominant position knowing how close this fight is. I mean, he's... It's a nice Looking for an arm there, Williams from yeah. the bottom. He Caught one of those strikes coming in. Yeah, he doesn't quite have the control to finish it, though, and Tenny gets his head back in. Is he going to take the mount, Neon Belly? Cage might be Williams' best friend at the moment, then. If he yeah, he served him well, but good wrist control from Tenny there. Very might nice. have a sweep. Tenny needs to react fast. Arm is taken to his back. Nice turn. Again, Tenny could have freed himself from any trouble there if he just reacted a little bit faster. Um, it was just a bit too laid back. And Williams, even though he's getting tired, got there quicker. Tenny could have stayed on top and not had to fight from this position, but as it's turned out, he has got oh, the better position again. Tried, tried to sneak uh, the, the, the forearm under the chin there, but Williams just laid back with it. Yeah, and it looks like Tenny's got the gas left in the tank. Yeah. Williams, 
He's faltering now and he's paying the price for those earlier outputs. Strong, good, good for me. I got a good base. I don't see him getting bucked off this. It's going to take a. It's, it's going to take something special for winner. Look at oh, that. Oh, there straight. he goes, giving it up. Might be a triangle. Well, Tenny looks straight for a triangle, but I wasn't expecting to get booked just, from there, Steve. And he made it look easy. And maybe Tenny's getting tired now as All well. Right. You know, those, these kind of things happen when you're not paying that. You know, that little bit of attention lost reacting to where the you know the pressures are changing and he's just not reacted in time to stay on top and Williams really shouldn't have booked him from there in that position with just a basic you know hip bump but he did and you know this is fighting now if Williams works hard right. from the top he could turn this around maybe not maybe not enough time left, left uh, it's uh, it may be too little too late Tenny looking to strap an arm as we finish and and that an close fight, Steve. fight, an entertaining yeah. fight for her. Very back and forth. For me, I think Tenny had more control in the first and the third. I, you know, I agree. Williams in both of those rounds did come back and have some good pressure, landed some good strikes, but probably too little too late. Yeah, just needed to yeah, just just needed to be a little more urgent with the takedown defense. And uh, Tenny did I think he's done enough. I'd have liked to see him be a little more aggressive on top, but you don't want to give up position and get caught with something. And Williams obviously had power. That transition from full guard from the full mount showed that. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, the, how that power transfers, It's that's always the thing you think about when the guys have got that much power, that much strength, you know, quite muscular. Can it last the rounds? And Williams did slow down. We're going to go. We've got the official decision. Went there, Jay, for uh, Jaheim Tenney. I, I think we got it right. I think that control made all the difference. I got to say, I hope the rest of them are that entertaining. Yeah, maybe the split there, you can imagine the first round, one of the judges may have gone uh, in favor of Williams because he did have a good aggressive output at the end of that round. Um, but yeah, a very close fight. And I think Tenney just had, had done enough there, had enough control to win that fight. Yeah, I think a split is about as fair as it gets. 